Los Obispo County Animal Shelter, and I'm Joan Carter, and I am going to demonstrate one of the ways that we deal with and work with small dogs here called lap training. Every person that comes here looking for a small dog wants a little dog that's going to cuddle up, they're going to sit next to them, they're going to sit on their lap, and they're going to be affectionate. That's what they want from a dog. So we do <coughs> leash training, house training, and lap training. And this dog is getting lap training right now. He loves, he loves to be cared for and to sit on the lap. So lap training consists of taking a small dog, getting them to jump up in the lap, and then let them sit there with you for a while in several positions so that they, they become totally content in being with you. And this, this little dog loves this, you can tell. So the process is to take the dog for a walk and then let them do their business and then set them in the lap for a while for them to get comfortable. They get trusting and they, they begin to um, feel more comfortable here. They feel safe. You bring them out here, they're away from the noise and all the big dogs barking inside. It's scary for them. And if we get a little dog that comes in that's fearful or very shy and timid, that's the first thing we want to do is get them out, have them uh, realize that they can be safe here, that there's somebody here who's going to take care of them and love them like this. And they feel a lot more uh, comfortable and get adjusted quicker. Now, if you have a, a little dog that's um, already had a lap most of its life. They don't need a whole lot of training, but um, they feel very comforted. It's very familiar and comfortable for them to uh, be able to come out and be held like this and patted and loved like this. And the other dogs that um, haven't, many dogs that come here have not had that kind of a life. So it's teaching from scratch for them. Um, but I can say that every single dog really likes this. And look at this little dog. He was squirrely and squirmy, and now he's very happy and content just to sit here with me. Here we go. Is he there? Oh, it's a good boy. See? One day I was on a rock, a big rock that's out at the front door, and this man, I had a little dog like this in my lap, and a man got out of the car and walked over and said, oh, what a cute little dog. And he sat down, and the dog jumped from my lap to his lap. And he said, that's it. I'm taking this dog. And that happens a lot here, not always on a rock. But people will go out and look at little dogs, and the one that jumps into their lap is the one that they will take. Look at this guy. I mean, is he irresistible? So this is group lap training. And every day they come out here, and they learn how to um, be together and they learn from each other they teach each other and actually this is the way that they sell themselves and people will come out here to look at the dogs and they will pick the one based on which one jumped into their lap the same thing oh he picked me I want this one so the timid and fearful that little mini pin has been very timid and fearful and look at him now he wants in that lap it's, uh, this is the place where the dogs are shown to the public. So the dogs come out here and teach each other, and they become competitive about who gets to sit in the lap. Um, it's actually the way that these dogs sell themselves. They come out here, they're so adorable. Look at that. People will sit down, and a dog will jump in their lap, and they'll pick which dog jumped up on their lap as the dog they want to take home. They'll say, he picked me. So a timid and fearful dog, like the little brown one behind, is not quite ready yet to be competitive. But he's getting close, and they learn quickly in, in a group like this. Look at his tail going. He's gonna, there he goes. He's, he's very reluctant, but there he is. And he has just learned now to sit in laps. So you have to think about um, the effect on the volunteer, the person who's doing this work. You know, a person feels calm and connected to a small creature, and they go home feeling happy and that they've really accomplished something while they're here. You know, dogs change people's lives, and it's really good to be a part of that. It brings out compassion in people, and it's nice to be able to participate in that kind of an interchange. Look 
look what's happening here. <laughs> the big dog wannabe. They always want the same thing the little dogs are getting. Look at that. He thinks he's just a little 10 pounder. <laughs> <laughs>